that. I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let me now turn the call over to our Chief Executive Officer, Lee Pierhall. Lee? Well, thank you, Pat, and thank you to everyone for joining us today. Let me first start by saying that we are extremely proud and excited about the work we have done thus far and continue to be doing on the BOA technology. We control and have in our grasp what we believe can be a revolutionary technology that may fundamentally alter the landscape of the chip industry. Never before has one chip been able to integrate both electronic and optical circuits on a single die. By combining optics and electronics on a single chip, we believe we can eliminate the inefficiency and cost burden on systems that must use separate chips for each function. POET can provide significant potential cost savings by eliminating the need for most cabling, reducing power consumption, and reducing chip size and weight. These benefits vastly increase performance and may be so immense that POET may potentially and dramatically transform the entire chip industry. Dr. Taylor and his research and development team are located on the campus of the University of Connecticut. They have been developing this technology for well over 15 years. Our development efforts have now reached the stage where the board and the management team felt that the technology was sufficiently mature enough that we should begin the process of monetizing our research and development effort. Of course, we could always try to go it alone and continue to fund the final stages of development. However, we felt that such a fundamentally different technology needs the financial firepower of large partners or other backing in order to reach POET's full potential, especially in the short period of time demanded by a competitive market. The first stage uh, of this monetization process was the commission of evaluation of our intellectual property. We wanted to better understand not only the markets, but also their potential worth. Although the POET technology may well address a vast number of vertical markets, we focused on just three such markets for this valuation. Those markets are the server, general computing, smartphone and device industries. With the valuation now in place, our board is poised to begin exploring a full range of options. While no decisions have been made yet, there are a number of options we could pursue, including but not limited to one, a full sale of POET to a strategic or financial buyer, two, the splitting of the POET technology between the commercial and military markets, then approaching possible sale of the business separately to such interested parties, three, the continuation of OTIS then separately licensing the technology to the commercial and military sectors, or securing a large equity investment from a strategic or financial investor, or five, other potential strategic transactions such as marketing or development partnerships. I want to emphasize that no decision has yet been made. All these options and more are under intense review. Now, you may be wondering why we are announcing this valuation and our monetization efforts now. By Canadian securities law, we are required to disclose that we are in receipt of this valuation appraisal because of the material impact it may have on Opal Solar International. We are also required to present the valuation report, which is on our website in a redacted form to protect trade secrets and competitive information. Since we are required to disclose this information, we wanted to take the opportunity to discuss it with our shareholders, employees, and business partners. We want everyone to be aware of both the potential of POET and the risks and assumptions inherent in any valuation exercise. I would like to provide a brief overview of the POET technology at this time. POET is our acronym for Planar Opto Electronic Technology. It fulfills the long-held objective of the semiconductor industry, which is the integration of a wide number of electronic and optical circuits on a single chip. Code is actually a semiconductor fabrication technology that enables the dense packing of digital, analog, and optical circuits on a single gallium arsenide chip. A key benefit of POET is faster operations, with so-called clock speeds of up to 100 gigahertz. In addition, it generates less heat, has greater reliability, 
and a lower total system cost to produce. Our POET technology was developed by Dr. Jeff Taylor and the Otis Research Team located on the campus of the University of Connecticut. All developed components are now being validated by third parties who are in the process towards producing their own POET-designed operational chip. The technologies are protected by 33 granted patents, with 17 patents pending in the U.S. and internationally. We also have other innovations in various stages of patent filing. We believe that POET has numerous applications in the computing and communications technology sectors. We believe POET has the potential to fundamentally alter the landscape of those industries with heretofore unattainable functionality and price performance. Otis personnel historically have been engaged with leading defense companies and with military and government agencies to develop important applications. With its partners, Otis is developing infrared arrays for imaging, optoelectric switches, compact ultra-low power memory, optical communications chips, and radio frequency detection arrays. By visiting our website, you will find press announcements outlining the history of these projects and awards.